these are were doomed, doomed. Madeline, go on with it. That's all right, That's all right Fraser. Uh, Mr. Bean was amazing. Mr. Bean, very, very funny. Very funny. Ah. So there we are. And uh, yes, very funny. I mean, but Rowan Atkinson, fantastic actor. Loved Black Adder. There's another brilliant comedy, Black Adder. Yes, a whole tremendous cast. You know, tremendous cast. Tony Robinson, all that lot. Wonderful. And, uh, oh, no, I mean, just a loaded cast. Tremendous. Tremendous bit of acting going on there, the whole lot. Don't tell him, Pike. I saw the one, did you see the full-length movie when the Germans had taken over the church and uh, they went in as the choir with a revolver in the plate? I saw it recently, a couple of weeks ago. It was all around New Year, Christmas time, that sort of stuff. Yeah, you've got to hunt for the wee gems on the telly. Don't necessarily go to the populist channel. Have a good run through and hunt down the wee gems. That's what it's all about, I say. In the classic sit of Santa's boyfriend is on, dinky do Santa's boyfriend. <laughs> In the classic sitcom Porridge, it was referenced that the character of Mackay was from Greenock. Uh, but in real life, Fulton Mackay was from Paisley. Now, there we are, Santa's boyfriend. That was another great actor, Fulton Mackay. And I remember when I first saw Fulton Mackay, it was a play called Willie Ruff, set in Greenock in the shipyards at the time of the First World War, I think. The early 1920s, Willie Ruff and Fulton Mackay was in it. And so was the wonderful John Kearney. He played John McLean, the politician. Oh, it's great. And Bill Bryden had written it, Willie Ruff. So think about that. Uh, the great Richard Cutters created Mr. Bean and some great British comedies. Richard Cutters is an incredibly talented man. You know, I mean, I loved all his stuff with Hugh Grant, Notting Hill, all that sort of stuff. Fantastic. So there we are, Richard Curtis. Terrific talent. Wonderful stuff. Yeah, yes, but Fulton Mackay. And there was a lovely one about the Argyle and Sutherland Islanders. I was in the Argyle and Sutherland Islanders, Fletcher. Fletcher, what are you doing? What are you up to? Nothing, Mr. Mackay. <laughs> Harry Enfield's a good comedian I used to enjoy watching Harry Enfield and Chums Yes, a lot of television talent I think the problem you've got in television nowadays Is it's all up to commissioning editors And if a commissioning editor doesn't like you Or doesn't get you Well, they won't necessarily not like you But doesn't like what you do You're doomed doomed you know I've spoken to one or two commissioning editors and I've said why don't you do this I can do this for you bring you a big audience in the room. I, I think it's going to have to be a no Scotty because they don't get it they don't get what you do. You know, that sort of thing. Things have to be a no. You know, you think, do you not want to take a wee risk? No. And they're thinking, well, I've got a well-paid job here as a commissioning editor. And I don't want to blow it by doing something different. Be better sticking to what I know. There we are. And there's also uh, an argument for that, you know, because I remember somebody saying to me, stick to what you know in life and you've got half a chance. <laughs> Scotty, my friend's auntie used to run out of the Anderson shelter and wave at the Luftwaffe planes when she lived in Clyde Bank. Yes, I remember my mother telling me she was in Argyle and she said a German bomber came over the main street and she could see the faces of the pilot, the face of the pilot and the co-pilot. Amazing. So there 